Hey guys, welcome back to Pat Max Adventures. I am Patrick. Today I'm going to take you guys along with me to one of the local grocery stores here in Cebu City. Currently Cebu City is still in an enhanced community quarantine. Tomorrow it's supposed to move to a general community quarantine. Yes, that means more things will be open. I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what it looks like, maybe how much things cost right now, what the line looks like, and before I go, I'll give you guys a brief tour of my room here and the hotel that I'm staying at. This is my room, guys. I love it. I was in another room before that didn't have a window. This one does have a window, thank goodness. I have a refrigerator. This is a big double bed over here. I've got two lamps. I love the blue walls. It's really made it feel much better in here. I have a safety deposit box. I also have this cabinet thing. Uh, you can see this is why I need to go to the grocery store. I have only I only have an orange and some soy milk. I've got my water here. One of my phones is charging over here. This is my workstation. I will do another video later uh, sharing about my job and the company that I work for. Over here, there are my bags. We can take a little look outside. Not much to see. It's a bit rainy and cloudy today. This is my bathroom. I just did laundry. The toilet, the showers right there. Got my clothes here. I've got a bucket here where I clean and wash my clothes in. And that is pretty much it, guys. This is my room. This is where I've been. The first two weeks, I was in a much smaller room. The hotel offered this room at 1,000 pesos a night. That roughly comes out to $19. It's a bit more than what I was paying in the other room, which was 700 pesos, which is about $13 a night. But the other room, didn't have the window, it didn't have a refrigerator, so I was leaving my food at the front desk, so I'd have to go down to the front desk every morning and at night to get my lunch and breakfast and dinner. Here I have food here. I normally order my food, but I always have breakfast here and some more snacks. I've got my mask here, which I'm about to put on. For my safety, I'm not gonna share the name of the hotel yet because I may still be here for the next month. I'm not sure what's gonna be happening, um, if it's gonna be safe enough for me to go to an Airbnb. Um, after getting kicked out of that hotel two months ago, I'm just nervous that if I move into an Airbnb or an apartment that I have more risk of getting kicked out or something happening. So ah, it's kind of, I'm kind of conflicted because I could save a lot more money at a Airbnb, but I feel more safe and secure here. So I'll figure that out later, but let's get outside and let's get to the grocery store. Here is the hallway guys. Let's see some of those here. Now to head down the stairs. On one of the floors, there's a communal area here, guys. Uh, you can see they have the tables stacked up probably because they were clean. Elevator is here. Uh, they have hand sanitizer here, water. There's a little table over here, little kitchen area, I guess. So one thing that's been posted here throughout the past two months, guys, is here you'll see there's no visitors allowed. Uh, there's also attention to just keep social distancing. There's some launching here. Hello. Hello, Catherine. <laughs> this, is, this is Ray, Hi. who's the manager here, and then this is Noreen. Every day I come down here and I see the two of them. So what I need to do is I need to get the quarantine pass from them because I don't have one myself. So the other foreigners and me here at the hotel, for the last two months, we've been sharing the quarantine pass. You are lucky. <laughs> so this is what the quarantine pass looks like, guys. One thing I've noticed over these past two months during the enhanced quarantine is every Sunday seems to be pretty quiet. So going to the supermarket on Sundays has really been great. There's hardly usually any lines. We'll see what happens today. Uh, but it's another quiet Sunday. Forget about what I just said about the line. There's a long line today. <laughs> Gonna be about an hour today. I hope it's not over an hour.
surprisingly guys that only took 35 minutes I thought it was gonna take a lot longer uh, they do want people to only shop for about 15 to 20 minutes so when you come to the grocery store here you just have to keep that in mind I already know what I'm gonna get I've been getting the same thing for the last two months so I'm gonna be pretty quick Soy milk here that I usually get is 85 pesos, pretty good. And today I got three. This is for anti hoarding guys, anti panic buying. Kind of like this one. Whole wheat. 117 pesos. This one the same. Ooh, I like this one. Testing for customer service. SC1 customer service, please. Testing. What I tend to do guys is when I come to the grocery store here I only buy for breakfast and snacks because I have a very small refrigerator in my room Lunch dinner those things I order and buy every day But this will provide breakfast for me for the next week week and a half and snacks during the day as well Usually guys I usually get this huge gallon thing of water 86 pesos not bad for the size <laughs> <laughs> Everyone still wants to be on camera. The next important thing that I always get is fruits. I know it's a bit more expensive right now, but fruits is really healthy and I love fruit in general. This one, this looks like cantaloupe, 51, 84 pesos. Yes, I will get that. Actually, I will get two of them. Uh, let's see. I like this. Let's get this one. Pineapple. I love pineapple, and guys, pineapple is very healthy for you. Always eat pineapple. One, two. So I've been coming here for the last two months since I've been stuck here during the quarantine. This is the first time that they have had bananas. <laughs> and quite a lot of bana bananas. So I think I'm gonna buy some bananas today. All the fruit here, guys, is a bit more expensive. Uh, so usually, like these bananas here, well, these specific bananas don't look great, but they're a lot cheaper, 98 pesos. I'm gonna get the bananas, but I'm only gonna get half of the bananas because they'll go by, they'll go back pretty fast. Oh, no plastic is okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. One thing that has me a little nervous today is because I have the camera. Every time I come to the store, I remind myself, don't touch my phone. I'm only touching the basket, not to touch my face, because as soon as I get home, I'll wash my hands. So today I will have to disinfect my camera as well, just to be extra safe. And how about you guys? No matter where you are in the world, whether you're here in the Philippines too, or if you're back in the US or whatever country you are, you're in, how do you feel whenever you go to the grocery stores right now? Do you ever feel nervous? What are the precautions that you take? Like I shared, I do the hand washing. I constantly remind myself not to touch my phone, not to touch my face, and always washing my hands. So I'd love to hear what you guys do, and maybe I can get some tips from you guys as well. I got my 10 liters of water, pineapple, some melon, soy milk, bananas, by the way. This came out to 128.77 pesos. I've got my bread and my peanut butter. And that totals it out today, guys. This is everything I'm gonna buy today here at Robinson's, at the local grocery store here. Should I be bad? Should be bad. I do have a bit of a sweet tooth. Okay, okay. I'm so bad. I'm getting two, one more. And I'm back in my room, guys. I've got my 10 liters of water here. This one is about halfway. So this should get me through for most of this week. So let's see, guys. I've got some wheat bread, bananas, two sets of pineapple, two sets of cantaloupe, peanut butter, two Snicker bars, uh, three things of soy milk, and my total came out to 928 pesos and 55 cents. This is when I have to get creative because this is how big my refrigerator is. This is the food. So the soy milks can stay on top here. I also have a plate here I use every day for my lunch and dinner. I've got my forks, spoons, and I have some chopsticks. 
I'll put the bread up here for now. All right, so let's go ahead and put the camera up there. Pineapple, oh, I've got my other orange right there. Oh, <laughs> nice try, Patrick. There we go, that's better. Uh, I'll put the peanut butter here for now. I like my peanut butter cold. Bananas in there for right now. And my snicker bars. Yes. Now what I will do, guys, is I will wash my hands thoroughly with soap, and then I will disinfect this camera. And that's it, guys. That's what a typical day looks like of me going to the local grocery store here in Cebu City, here in the Philippines, during this enhanced community quarantine. Tomorrow, it's going to shift to a general community quarantine, which is pretty much not that much different than what it is now. Some more places will be open. I'll still have to wear the quarantine pass, which I share with about five to eight other people here in the hotel. So it makes it difficult to get out and go many places and we can only go out for a few hours at a time. I, of course, could live on much less when it comes to food. However, I've always been someone who eats healthy, and especially right now, I'm willing to spend more money, especially because I'm working. I'm working a lot and I'm making money. My job hasn't changed at all during this pandemic. I think the total price was reasonable for the amount of things that I bought today. If there wasn't this big quarantine and pandemic going on, I would usually probably go to a local market here in the city to buy my fruit but that's not available right now so I'll be buying it at the grocery store and I tried to buy the cheapest and the most you know healthy that I could find let me know if you guys have any questions I'm looking forward to showing you guys more of my daily life here in Cebu City and I'm excited to start getting out and exploring more now that we're going to the general community quarantine I might be able to do a bit more uh, so let me know down in the comments other things that you would want to see or know about thanks again for watching guys and remember to live every moment to the max I'll see you guys next time here in Cebu City under a general community quarantine <laughs> Bye.